What's up guys, this is Fragozy, and welcome to my tutorial on how to add mods to Minecraft Java Edition. So, first things first, we're going to need three things. First, we're going to need to have the Minecraft launcher downloaded. Second thing we're going to need is to have Minecraft Java Edition purchased and also downloaded using the Minecraft launcher. Lastly, we're going to need an internet connection. This tutorial, I'm going to be doing it on Edge, but you can use whatever you have at your disposal. We're going to open up our internet browser and search for CurseForge. CurseForge is the application that is going to be used to actually handle downloading and turning on the mods. You're going to click the very first option, or at least just make sure that it's www.curseforge.com. If you see that, then you're in the right place. If you want to make sure that you go exactly to the download spot, you can also click the link in the description so that you could just go straight there. So click the top option and then click the Get CurseForge app at the very top right. Next thing we're going to do is click Download Standalone. You can also do it with Overwolf, but for the purposes of this tutorial, we're going to be doing it with the standalone version. You're going to click it and for most of the applications, it's going to show up at the top right. If for some reason your download does not show up at the top right, you can also open your downloads folder and you can go to the Minecraft installer right here. So you're going to double click it or just click the one at the very top right and it's going to open up the CurseForge installer. I typically leave everything at default. So right here I'm 18 and I am going to click next again. So now it's installing CurseForge and we will be right back as soon as it's finished. Now that it's finished downloading, it is opening up CurseForge for us, so we don't have to re-click it. CurseForge can be used to mod a few games, but for our intensive purposes, we are going to be doing Minecraft Java Edition. So, as you see here, we have no mod packs installed. So, how do we install some mod packs? First, we're going to go to Browse, and you can either click one right here, or you can search for the one you're looking for. I am going to be doing RL Craft, which is known as one of the most difficult versions of modern Minecraft to play, and it adds a ton to the game. So we're going to go ahead and click install and wait for it to finish downloading, and we'll be right back once again. All right, now that that is finished downloading, we can actually go ahead and click play, and it'll automatically do everything else that we need to have done for it. Continue. It's going to go ahead and open it up in Minecraft Launcher and just make it easy for us. Get us straight into the game. Once it comes over here, make sure that you're back in Minecraft Java Edition. Um, if it ever opens up Minecraft for Windows, that's actually Bedrock Edition, which I will have a tutorial for for you to also look at that. And if you look at the bottom left right here, you'll see that it already has our craft ready to play. Now, it is going to do this warning because it's not the most up-to-date version, but if you go ahead and click play with this selected right here, it will go ahead and open up uh, the modded version of Minecraft that you installed. As you can see, it is opening up RL Craft. It's going to go ahead and initialize every mod that's in it. And we'll get back to you so I can show you how to start a new world with the mod. Now that it has finished initializing, all we have to do to start a new world is click single player, create new world, and go ahead and create new world again. And it's going to go ahead and initialize the world. Now, every mod's going to be different. Sometimes you go into a pre-made world for that mod, and other times you're just going to be able to generate a brand new world based off of the mod. So while we have a little bit more time, because I try to keep my tutorials under five minutes, uh, I'm just going to show you a few other mods that I enjoy playing myself. So RL Craft is one of them because it adds a ton to the game. Next thing that we have is Tech It. If you like to play around with machinery and trying to make machinery work, or if you're really into Pokemon, you can also go to Pixelmon. And this is a really good Minecraft mod for Pokemon. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any issues or any questions, please let me know down in the comment section and we'll be with you in the next one. Have a good one. Bye.